Yes. Welcome back. The uh, streets of Santon, the uh, Richard Square Mile in Johannesburg, South Africa, and uh, key business hub are fairly quiet today. Kind of reminiscent, reminiscent rather, of the uh, pandemic times when uh, parking lots and roads were uh, fairly empty as most businesses operated remotely. Uh, working from home and it seems to be that uh, this is one of the contingency measures that have been taken by business to safeguard workers today in the uh, worst case scenario of the protests in the name of the national shutdown turning violent. The protests have been called by the opposition party, the EFF, are calling for President Cyril Ramaphosa to resign due to his failure to fix the power crisis in the country as well as reduce record unemployment. I'm joined by uh, Business Unity South Africa Deputy CEO Kulekani Mate for more. Uh, Kulekani, thanks so much for your time. I, we just, Stephen, uh, we got a report from our colleagues who are elsewhere in the country. In Pretoria, things are seeming uh, pretty stable as well. In the Val, also in Randburg, uh, things are fairly quiet. So no significant uh, events or incidences of violence have broken out just yet. Would you say that uh, this has been a contingency plan uh, put in place by business today to have a whole lot, a lot of their workers staying at home to avoid uh, any unfortunate incidences? Good afternoon, uh, Fifi, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um, look, many businesses have, as you know, from COVID times, have the opportunity of working from home for some of their staff members. So I would imagine that some of them have split exercised that option. Of course, that option is not available to everybody. So any amount of disruption of business concerns us a great deal. Yes, we have not seen um, major disruptions where there have been skirmishes here and there, but there is some impact on business and that is uh, unfortunately going to affect uh, the economy even more. So we, we, we are happy that we have not seen the violence that we thought might uh, result, but to the extent that it affects the operations of companies, we, we remain concerned. Mm -hmm. Early days yet, but is there an estimated cost of the protest to business right now? No, not yet, uh, Fifi, because as we say, it's early days, but uh, in the matter of days, it should be possible to quantify the cost of the protest. But we don't have full reports yet of what has or has not happened in terms of uh, disruptions to business operations. Mm -hmm. I was just reflecting uh, on my drive to uh, work. Um, it uh, took me back to 2018, where we also had a national shutdown at that time in the name of also removing another president in the form of President Zuma. There, there was a, a coordinated protest against the corruption and against the fact that the economy was uh, continuing to go nowhere as a result of the cost of uh, corruption, as it were. And now we are also in a kind of similar, although there are nuances, uh, position in terms of another president being called to step aside for his failure to to fix the ailing economy and uh, also to fix uh, the uh, recent uh, power outages which we've seen uh, climb to record levels. Just what is BUSA's take and BUSA's position on this national shutdown and the manner in which the EFF is going about it? Well, what we can say, uh, uh, Fifi, is that um, there's no denying that there are difficulties in our economy, that the load shedding is affecting pretty much every sphere of society um, and business is, is uh, similarly affected. So all of those things are, are absolutely correct. And what we do not agree with is uh, what appears to be political uh, maneuvering by the political party that's organizing or leading this shutdown to essentially do what it cannot do in the polls. And so as business, we do not support um, the shutdown in totality for various reasons. One being the political uh, uh, connotations to it, but secondly, that we do not believe it is the solution to our problems that we are facing. True as they are, we believe that we should be working together. We should try even harder to get this economy back on its feet so that it can create jobs and uh, make sure that no more uh, livelihoods are being affected. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, and we're leading up to an election year 
and uh, there is a view that such protests and such uh, politicking, as you did mention, uh, are going to become a lot more amplified in the lead up to the, the national vote next year. And I'd like to understand what you think some of the ramifications or the implications on the economy or even business could be. I do not think um, that uh, anybody would be able to tell at this point what is likely to happen in the future. What we can say, of course, is that if we were to have more of these shutdowns, and if they do in fact become national shutdowns, as this one was uh, touted as, it would be absolutely devastating for the economy. Um, protests that we have become accustomed, people are exercising their right. Um, peacefully and maybe in within a sector or industry all of those we've lived with in this country for many many years so we've been able to, to adjust to that as business but it is these national shutdowns with the threats or even um, a manifestation of violence that uh, concerns us more so we can't say what's going to happen in the future uh, but we would just urge everybody involved to act responsibly because we are in a situation where it's an economy that was doing badly to start with, hit by COVID, and now has had in the last year uh, seen intensification or energy uh, crisis intensifying. And if we do any more damage to this economy, there's really, really going to be uh, serious difficulties ahead. All right. Kulukani, thanks so much for uh, your time and for sharing what you are able to uh, with us so right now. He is the uh, business unity of uh, South Africa, Deputy CEO Kulukani Mate, there on the national shutdown. Still early days uh, and early hours, I suppose, but relative calm in most of the areas that we have uh, eyewitness accounts on. Santon here, as I said, over in the Val, Pretoria, the capital of the uh, country, as well as in other smaller uh, suburbs like Randburg. But so uh, that is where we leave it uh, for Power Lunch Southern Africa for today. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, tomorrow's a public holiday here in South Africa. In fact, it's Human Rights Day, so we won't have regular programming, but uh, we'll certainly be back with you on Wednesday. See you then.